This weekend's the last weekend at the John Glass Fieldhouse. Um, as a senior, it's got to be a pretty special feeling to know that you're shutting that place down. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of neat to, uh, to be able to say you're the last class in this um, kind of story building. There's a lot of tradition here and a, a lot of championships, so uh, it's kind of a neat feeling. So, what has uh, made the glass special to you as a player? Um, just the energy in here. I mean. Uh, when we come out for warm-ups, the fans are already there cheering for us, and, and throughout the game, they just uh, get louder and louder, and, and they're always behind us, and so just the support and the energy in the, in the building. Last weekend, you guys split at Robert Morris. Um, give me a feel for that series. Uh, well, it's tough anytime you play a team as, as much as we do in the CHA, and Robert Morris is, a, is kind of a, a very tough team to play against for us, and they just kind of stop our momentum, so it was really tough on uh, Friday night to get our bus legs out, and, and they played really well, and got to give them a lot of credit. But Saturday, we uh, stuck to our details a little bit more and, and got the W, so it was nice. You guys are, have about a 500 record in the last 10-11 games. Um, is that a cause for concern at this point in the season? Um, I, I guess it could, it could be seen that way. I don't necessarily think it is. I think if you look at most teams in, in college hockey, there's always a period of you know, a month, month and a half where they go around 500. Or, and so it's not too much of a concern, especially that the fact that it's happened in February, and hopefully we can get out of it. If, if it keeps going that way, then it's definitely a concern, but I, I don't think it will. So. This week is the final games in the John Glass Fieldhouse. Um, what does that mean to you to be doing that as a senior? Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. You know, the, the whole year we've kind of known this is the last uh, year in the glass, and I know there's a lot of people coming back for it, so I think it's just going to be a special day for the program and for all the alumni. You know, it's going to be a packed house both those nights. Um, any pressure on that for you guys at all? No, not at all. I think that just adds to the excitement. I mean, I don't think it's pressure. I think it just, you know, it's a great atmosphere. You know, people talk, always talk about how fun the glass is to play in, and I don't, you know, the last two nights, I think we're going to send it out with a bang. What does it mean to you as a senior to play in this place? I mean, it's pretty sweet, you know, uh, with everybody, you know, gearing up for the WCHA and the Breck the new event center, but you know, it's kind of cool to be the last class, you know, to play in the glass, which, you know, is something that us seniors will always have. Not only that, you guys got a, a chance to win the regular season title. Um, how special would it be to clinch that here? In the I mean, ice? absolutely. I mean, that's what you always want to do. You always want to clinch a title on your home ice, and, you know, we got the we got the opportunity this weekend to do that, so we're looking forward to it. Last 10 games, you guys have about a 500 record at this point in the season. Is that a cause for concern at all? Um, I mean, I don't think so. You know, you know, we started off pretty hot, and you know, um, you know, we're you know we're just trying to get better each week. You know, if we play better and we feel like we're getting better, I mean, that's all we can do. Last weekend at the uh, John Glass Fieldhouse, what does it mean to you to be shutting this place down? Uh, you know, it's uh, something special. You know, uh, our, we have a good bunch of guys, and it's a uh, it's going to be a good uh, last weekend with uh, the group of guys who had a great season and uh, it would be a great great opportunity to uh, win two more games at home in front of a packed house. You've been here now for three years. Um, what, what about this building makes it special to you? You know what, uh, we have the best fans in college hockey and uh, coming to John Glass Fieldhouse and you know, home games, it's so exciting and uh, it's hard not to play good at home. It's just uh, fun and enjoyable and we, like, like I said, best fans. Uh, you know the ice a little bit better than the away team and I don't know, it's just a, the arena is going to be messed. Um, last week you guys split uh, one and lost at Robert Morris. Give me a flavor for that series and how it went for you guys. Uh, I think Friday night we uh, we didn't play our best hockey, but uh, you know, uh, Saturday night we responded to that loss and I thought we played one of the better games since, uh, since Christmas. Uh, we've been up and down since Christmas, but uh, hopefully that will pick up some momentum for us and show us how we have to play to uh, keep winning uh, and so hopefully we can uh, do good the rest of the season. Yeah, some fans might look at that and say that's a cause for concern. Do you guys feel it's a cause for concern? Uh, you know what, not really. Robert Morris is a good team. You know, they since Christmas they've been on fire, and uh, you know to get a split on the road against Robert Morris, you know, we'll be happy with that. You know, we always want to go for a split, but at the same time, you, you can't go for too much. Um, Robert Morris is a great team, but uh, if we don't we don't play a full sixty, then uh, you know we're not we're gonna pay for what we did Friday night.